In this video, we're going to be showing how you can use a simple object to find angles of elevation. There are devices called clinometers, which are available commercially, a little bit more sophisticated than what we're showing you here. You can take a protractor, turn it upside down, and hang a string from its middle. The string should have a heavy weight on the end, so that the string is always hanging straight down. It's also helpful to have something similar to a straw or a tube of some sort that you can look through. The understanding is that when you're looking straight ahead along a horizontal line of sight, that the string should be hitting the 90 degree angle mark on your protractor. Next, you would hold the protractor so that the object of interest is in your line of sight. It could be a flying object, it could be the top of a building, whatever. And at this point, you either hold the string where it is, or you have somebody else see where it's hitting the protractor. In this diagram, your line of sight has moved 25 degrees. The highlighted region here is showing that that is the angle that your line of sight has moved through. So in general, you have found your line of sight in this diagram to be 25 degrees. What you need to do now is realize what your height is, measure the distance from you to the, the base of the object, D. Let's say in this example that your height is 5.5 feet and that the distance is 42 feet. Now if you're trying to find the height above ground of that purple object, then this is the math that you need to do the tan of 25 degrees is equal to x over 42 feet. Obviously cross multiplying gets the x by itself. The tan of 25 0.4663 times 42 should give you x. You get x equals 19.6 and what we're going to do now is take this measurement and go back to the previous page and realize that the 19.6 is this region here and you're going to have to add your height to get your final overall height for this object. 19.6 plus 5.5 should give you 25.1 feet as a total height for this purple object. That is how you could use um, a protractor as a clinometer to find your angle of elevation.